Fortnite just revealed an event to end off this season and let's just say you won't believe what's going to happen and who's going to be visiting the Fortnite island. Real quick, if you want the next Battle Pass 4 completely free, Peely says you need to drop a like in 3, 2, 1, 8. Congratulations, enjoy your Battle Pass when it comes. Now, but seriously, in today's video, we have an event confirmed by Epic Games which we're going to be covering alongside teases for this that are building up a brand new storyline and so much more that you definitely won't want to miss out on. Before we hop into that, look how insanely close we are to 2.515 million subscribers. It would make my start to 2023 so amazing if you do hit the button and turn on all notifications. After all, it only benefits you as we do give different subscribers every day. So once you've subscribed, comment your Epic Games ID down below and what you'd like from the item shop and boom, you could be featured in the next video. Me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug want to thank you for supporting code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop. Literally one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter, so enter it if you haven't already. But with that said, our first chapter for live event creeps closer by the day and there's a lot to cover, so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Not, I'm sitting on my back. Okay, so so, first of all, you may have noticed that, yes, as you can see on the news tab right there, Kid Leroy is now in Fortnite in the concert. Hopefully, you guys have attended, and if so, what do you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Personally, in my opinion, as Peely's doing well, the Travis Scott emote, the Travis Scott astronomical concert just cannot be topped. Not gonna lie, Rift was kinda cool too, considering we not only had a huge concert that was visually pleasing, but also then storyline developments teased toward the end with Kevin the Cube finally returning for the first time in Chapter 2. Either way, as you can see today, we don't have Kid Leroy on, it's just our good friend, the huh? six foot banana and before yes we hop into a game you're not going to be such a lonely banana forever peely as there's now been a new bundle updated called the peely party bundle which will be coming soon speaking of bundles as you can see there's an exclamation point where it says locker it's that time again where epic games have sent me yes another bundle as if we go to recent you can clearly see it's the lucian west skin which will be coming to the item shop on january 28th as epic games confirmed in this email here's the back bling lil louie harvesting tool westwood star this cool looking wrap of course we're going to be applying it to all. And then last but not least, this really cool loading screen. Obviously we can see a Battle Pass skin and one of the Fortnite crew skins on this bridge. And now we've got this full set equipped. Yeah, let's hop into a game and discuss Chapter 4 Season 2 story event because believe me, it's about to get insane. Okay, so as we look on Spawn Island to the island that we're meant to be heading onto, not to get too ahead of ourselves in this video though. Really? We got a nighttime lobby? Come on Fortnite, we don't want to see this, it's so dark. But yeah, first of all, without getting too ahead of ourselves, although this is very interested to set kind of the theme for this video in terms of events, what we can expect to be upcoming ultimately at the end of this chapter. Yes, you heard that right, at the end of this chapter, chapter 4 that's just started. As you can see, an insider message, Happy Power basically stating, yeah, there's going to be chapter 5 starting at the end of this year, kind of confirming the yearly chapters that we speculated about previously in prior videos. Give me a pistol, give me something. <gasps> yes, long shot shotgun at the start of the game, right, that confirms a win. Blue red eye assault rifle, it can't get much better, just give me a shotwave hammer. Wait, where did you come from? I swear I was the only one that landed on the roof, salsa pan. So yeah, basically in this tweet as well, oh, she's got a long shot shotgun too. Oh, thank God. As you can see, it goes on about something that Epic Games are going to start developing in March, as we've not entered February yet. This is obviously kind of in advance. This thing called Atlas, which in Greek mythology, obviously applying to the Greek mythology theme of code names for each chapter, chapter one, Athena, chapter two, Apollo, chapter three, Artemis, and chapter four that we're on now, code name Asteria. Atlas supposedly means in Greek mythology, well, to uphold the heavens. So is this island going to be yoinked upwards, you know, into the heavens, considering we can't go much further up than the space that we're already in unless it's heaven. Logic 101 with Friendly Machine. I guess we'll have to wait and see on that one. But why is everybody around this area? What's going on? Some more pressing news, speaking of not only March, but February now, the month we're about to enter. Epic Games did decrypt the month's crew pack and show everything that we're going to be getting if we're an active subscriber, including potentially the return of pets as back blings, as yes, this little guy, I'm guessing, is going to be kind of animated and not stationary, like, you know, just a backpack. For those that don't know, pets were introduced in chapter 1 season 6 and now we're in chapter 4 of Fortnite. Chapter 4 man. Seriously, like where has the time gone? <gasps> we found the best gun in the game. Fun fact too, despite this being of course February's crew pack, we already know what the March crew pack skin potentially is gonna be as it's another member of this particular kind of theme or set which Echo tweeted about and took off the Fortnite surveys being this character. Oh, I've got mad stick drift right now, it's so annoying. I'm gonna try and make it to the Citadel real quick because we need to discuss live event stuff and how chapter 4 season 2 is gonna be starting. I ended up going up a cliff when not knowing where I was going, looking at the map. There it is, one of the most beautiful POIs of this chapter. We need to be getting to this roof right here. Yes, you know, where Rift Warden Stellan, after being introduced, has been, you know, building the Rift Gate, which obviously he has his own intentions for, which right now I don't think we should trust him, but still. Rift Warden Stellan is definitely an interesting character for the development of the storyline, and of course, now Amy has confirmed the return of the scientist, potentially, as the Rift Gate supposedly is already locked onto him, or one of them that we currently can't see on the map. And she 
eerily said this in one of her kind of weird fragment possessed voice recordings. Let's roll that clip. If this doesn't imply the return of the Seven, then I don't know what will. Oh no, we're stuck in the storm. But yeah, as you can see, there's a new stage now for this rift gate being fully constructed and round. I don't know why I didn't just play a cinematic clip like this, but yeah, we had to go here. Am I actually going to die in the storm because I've been stupid? Wait, no, we have a saviour of a boat. I have mentioned in other videos, I'll admit, I don't think we're going to be getting a live event this season due to the correlation to every prior chapter's first season, such as Chapter 2 Season 1 we didn't get one, and also Chapter 3 Season 1. The story line started with a blast off live event introducing the visitor for the first time in chapter 1 season 4 so I think that goes without saying we didn't get one in chapter 1 season 1. Now that everybody's caught up one indicator pointing toward that we could be seeing a live event this season. Yes a shockwave hammer I honestly thought they'd vaulted them because I couldn't find any. As 23.30 is currently on the staging servers meaning it's releasing like January 31st I believe data miners have concluded either way the tweets will be on screen. That's the second to last update of chapter 4 season 1 but despite us knowing this season from ages ago goes all the way up to 23.40 being the last update of chapter 4 season 1. I thought this collab was over but okay maybe Epic Games feel bad for vaulting it for so long. We shall pick that up but before we do we need to heal. As you can see an interesting tweet from fnbr.watch kind of implies we're going to be seeing an event this season if not confirms it. As you can see he stated that they started testing chapter 4 season 2's update 24.00 and the final one of this season 23.40 on internal servers and they only do this on internal servers for the final update of a season. Herald did you just escape your bigger tree self? Or should I say shrunk reality tree self after doing this and being the biggest disappointment in live event history? Oh, you thought you could sneak up on me and go around? I don't think so. So yeah, without getting too off track once again, of course this implies in itself we could be seeing a live event this season. To end it off, storyline related, no, nothing to do with Kid Leroy, actual lore developments, the type of stuff that, yes, puts us straight into downtime anticipating the release then of the next season, when downtime lifts, everybody's always on the edge of the storm running in. The most interesting thing about the storyline and who could be involved despite Rift Warden, Stellan and Amy as previously mentioned. By the way, Amy apparently is this character off the Fortnite survey, so that potentially could be a Chapter 4 Season 2 Battle Pass skin. But speaking of Chapter 4 Season 2's event, as you can see by the title and thumbnail, you may be wondering, what is this character? Well, on the Fortnite surveys, of course, many people concluded when Bite's quest got introduced and there was more of a forefront of this thing called the Nothing in Chapter 3 Season 4, with this believed to be the area of where the Zero Point is currently kept in this ancient-like vault, as it seems like a medieval theme they're going with this chapter. Rift Warden Stellan mentioned that there is a shapeless man, which obviously we believe to be the Nothing, who is kind of lucrative behind the whole storyline now as a dark and sinister protagonist. Could the Nothing have an event on similar scale to Galactus, you know, actually visiting the entire island now we're in outer space over it and yeah, trying to harness the power of the zero points so that Nothing remains once more as every member of the last reality seems to want to do this. On the other hand, while the storyline's kind of got a real ominous and secret, there's yeah, people saying that a Giga Chad spray is going to be upcoming in Fortnite. Sprays are usually free rewards, so yeah, this is going to be really cool. I think now the question that remains is, is the nothing going to be introduced within this chapter or to end it off, considering they already have plans for Chapter 5 at the end of this year? <laughs> the boar helping me out. Wait, what is going on with this character? You know what? We're going to tame you, Mr. Boar, and take you to victory. I'll try. Come here, my little furry friend. Why am I better on these at shooting than the motorcycle? Honestly, at this point, considering Epic Games have been so cryptic and Donald Mustard has been updating things on his Twitter to kind of tease things upcoming, whether it is storyline based or not. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they try a Chapter 2 Season 6 startup event again, you know, the Zero Crisis finale that got developed up in the late Chapter 2 Season 5 days for then the Zero Point to, well, do this that we needed to recontain with the Foundation in Chapter 2 Season 6 once it started. Can I jump on the jellyfish with a ball? Yes, I can. Oh. Last two guys, let's go. Christmas is over, Yule Trooper. Get out of here. And boom, we got the Victory Royale. Drop a like if you're excited for Chapter 4 Season 2 and a potential event upcoming and subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future videos. As for where you go to now, make sure to click this one on screen, but most importantly, hopefully I can catch you in the very next one I do publish on the channel.